Hello, I hope you are very well. I'm just making this video to show you how to make some homemade face masks. I haven't been able to buy a few of these, but it is difficult to get hold of them. So here's my design to make your own. There is a growing call to wear masks suddenly while you're out of public places. Unfortunately, there have been many conflicting messages going around saying they are not useful, but there appears to be a growing consensus that they are indeed very useful, even if it's just to protect others from being splashed by your own droplets. I have been inspired to make this video after seeing videos posted by Peter Ludwig and the others. There are links to this video, so we put in the description below. Peter spoke of the, about the situation in the Czech Republic, where the government has ordered the mask for all. And it appears, looking at current infections and the death rate in the Czech Republic, that is a good policy. And Peter sets out the argument better than, than I can do in this video. So please check his video in the description below. And also some scientific research in the video by like, um, Jeremy Howard and Rachel Thomas. Um, links are in the description below as well. These marks are commonplace in Asia countries, like China, when they lock down. Everybody, the first thing everybody had to do was wearing a mask, go to drug shopping, go anywhere wearing a mask. And there is no embarrassment to wearing them. In Western countries, there appears to be some reluctance among people to wear a mask. And sadly, some people are being targeted for abuse wearing masks. It would be nice to change this. So, Wear these to protect yourself and others. To protect yourself and others. So make some in front of and others. Uh, first, I'd like to show you how to wear a mask properly. So this one I made with just a piece of cross and some foil paper and uh, some elastic bands. And then I got the hole here so I can put some like, cotton pads to make it even more secure. And then to wear it, you can push this down and then the more pack here and the string is covered. Take this out, put this in the washing machine. Do you use high temperature to wash them so it can be clean? So here is the glue. So you see all these lines, it goes down, and then you've got a metal bend a bit on the top. So this is obviously for the nose bit. So you could on the in the middle. And you cover the mask and the nose with no cap. No cap. So that's the way. Some people may be wearing like this. There's no point to wearing the mask. Or Now, this way up, and all these pockets collecting more and more dust may get into it and then it can be more dirty. So, we designed to filter the dust going away. So, the lines should be facing down, should the pockets should be facing down, not facing up to collect the dust. Okay, let's start it. You will need a 20, 40 piece of fabric and 
two elastic bands and and tin foil. So we're gonna have about twenty. Maybe a pin. If you don't have sewing machine, you have get a needle and some threads. You can do exactly the same job. So here will be for the nose bit. So we're going to sew this into half and again. So then you can shape shape them in a different angle. And if you want to be stronger, you have to. But it's thicker, it is stronger. Okay, so this is ready. And you've got a pin, needles, and you can start. How we fold this. This is the outside and the fold inside. So we will need two of these and this. Then we put this on the edge. Then okay. Then you sew them together. But I will leave about six centimeters hole for the cotton pads to get inside. Now I'm just going to show from here, there, there, and there. So the main thing is get a hole here. It's also easy for you to turn around. So open this up and just turn the bag around. So it's almost look like a mask already. But then to finish up. So this is a hole, and you can feel cotton pads or something feel inside. And on the top, I like to put this on the top of there, but I don't want to be showing outside. Well, some of them just put pin them in, stick them on, it's fine, and then that means you can, if if it's broken, you can change them. But I, for safety, I like to put put in the bag and touch touch to the end. So feel is here. So get this to touch there, and then I'm going to show a line.
so it's a little bit shinier and and also on the top so you know that's the top and it goes and you can bend it keep the shape bend it like that like a nose you can flatten them okay then what we need to do is because we don't want any air go out from the side so we like to make this a little bit narrower and what I did is I use inch centimeters is fine so use one and a half inch leave it on the top and then every half inch I make a mark so the same here one and a half and then every half what I do is I do you remember fold this down by half to there, then use a pin down to there, so then sew them in. The last three bands away. So, another side. Then when you iron them, you do them iron. Then that's your mask. Put this in. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy doing your own one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and waiting for the next one. Stay safe.